Welcome back to this Club Golf Channel. We're we're at Roy G. Guerrero Park uh, in Austin. We're branching out from Corpus. Um, played a what was it? Hour or so from here. Played like uh, Galloway Hammond, something like that. That was a fun little course. Uh, Roy G. is like you know very widely known, so I figured uh, take a look. The uh, I think the first hole is like according to you, just like washed out. We'll have to find it eventually, and we might have to find some homeless people. So should be fun. So the parking lot is there, and hole two is pretty close. But from what I hear, hole one is down that trail a little bit. And then it might, yeah. And that either way, if we finish on 18 or if we finish on one, that it's a bit of a hike. So I kind of want to play one first. Get the feel for like what it was. I guess it was a bridge that washed out and made it hard to access. Okay, where is, oh, there's the basket. And I think it's way down there. Huh? Cool, let's do it. Let's walk. Okay, starting on hole one. I don't see any ponds over there. Maybe they used to be ponds. But it's a big dog leg. Uh, I got the catch cam set up a little farther away than I thought. Because um, I was looking at the short tees. It doesn't feel like 100 feet. Or 85 feet difference, but uh, you're gonna just try and throw it right into the middle of the where the catch cam's at. I don't have fantastic luck with hitting my catch cam, so we'll see. Something to explore just for safe, smart play. I really like this tee pad layout though. A little brick with the concrete, pretty cool. I think there's a reasonable par four to start. I don't think I can get there in two, or it should be a very reasonable par, assuming I don't get caught up in trees somewhere. It's pretty low. So I made the perfectly wrong play. I'm left with either that gap or going around to the right. I should have played it out here more. Oh well. I got an idea though. So. good distance and it is in the trees again so my thought was no matter how bad it flared it should give me a forehand line turns out that's not the case so we got some work to do maybe the summer isn't isn't very good okay i need a right to left forehand this disc so good good calculations they work okay I just lasered this at 334 which means I gotta get something and there's a little bit of a tailwind so I think I gotta release the ballista could be the pro katana too I don't know kind of flat get it to ride finish around the corner uh, it's it's not like an exactly a dog leg because there is like a little inside route 300 would be Circle one lift, that's not bad. I gotta get the right angle on this lift. Oh, if it comes left, it's good. Oh. That was actually pretty good. A little high. Felt like a good rip. So somehow I still have 106 feet. It doesn't feel like it. But, I'm gonna give it a little half, half run. There's a pile of like mulch or something on the left side that'll stop any disc. We're going to use that backstop, ideally. Seems like a fun thing to do. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Should be par. I need to do some putting when I get back, because it's kind of been a little jumpy. Okay, this one's dead straight down there. Looks like a little bit of a low ceiling about halfway. 
and the distance Let's say 4... 440, 443. I was thinking 420-ish. The goal here is to bite off about 300 feet or so off the tee. And then, uh, have a reasonable upshot. Don't know that. Not great, not great. Whatever reason, these type of hills and things in front of me, they just, they definitely psych me out when I throw way higher than I need to because there's nothing more embarrassing than throwing your disc into the hills 20 feet in front of you. I changed my mind. You could also throw, be naked and throw into some hills 20 feet in front of you. That would also be more embarrassing. Okay, I got about 205 in. Shouldn't be much of an issue. A little right to left. There's some logs in front of the basket. You can either stop a disc or let it slide up. It's a weird hop. Good luck. It's ugly, but I got the distance right. A little low, but I then. So I was looking, I was like 378, but to where? And I just happened to be blocked by every single tree. So it's actually a pretty reasonable little left to right line. Probably forehand for me. I could rip a backhand and roll it over and get to play with all that lovely ground action, but I won't. Catch cam strategy. Here's the area leading up to the basket. It's this neat little like funnel, rock, rock funnel. I'm gonna try and throw it into here and give myself a reasonable, just straight approach. I'm thinking of the shape I need. I think it's more of a casual left to right instead of like a, like a forehand left to right. I think the leopard will do that. I'm gonna keep it low. But I think if I put it right at those trees and let it turn over, slight headwind, should be able to bump the catch cam, maybe. Not that nose up, it's not. So we're gonna miss. It wasn't pretty, but it's a way better look than I deserved. I think I have a forehand line. Okay, so I've got about 150 in. I think it's a harp as opposed to the A2. The A2 is a little, comes in a little sharper. I'd like this to be a little, a little flatter as it comes into the basket. Try and limit some of the flare. You're right. Ugh. Maybe the A2 was the play. Maybe a little flexy A2. All right, let's avoid the first bogey of the day. First bogey, if you don't count double bogeys. That was dead center, like, that's been happening to me lately and I don't know why. That never used to happen. I don't, at least I'll have video of it so I can be like, was it the pace? Was it the whatever? Was it just pure misfortune? Anyway, hole five, 849, straight down the thing. So, dead straight. Little baby dog leg. Ooh, the Dutch angles. So we got bamboo jail through here. Bad kick. Dude, I can't even imagine trying to play out of that if you have been there. So I left myself a weird line. It's a small line there. Going down to the basket, way down there. There's a par four, I think, though. So. I just need to get some distance. Can't hit trees like that. Oops. I keep thinking throw something flat and straight. A really good hyzer flip would be pretty nice, I think. Keep it kind of low. Oh, 
that low, idiot. Oh, that's work. So much work. So I do know almost exactly what I'm doing wrong. I usually have this vision in my mind of where I'm throwing, like, as I bring the disc back, and I'm like, there. And I didn't do that on that last throw. I just kind of threw it into the ground. I was like, oh, it's dirt. Right. So, another little hyzer flip, but I don't know. There's going to be some weird gaps behind it. Oh, it turned over. Come back. Uh, the rib. Wrong disc, wrong disc. It's probably the ballista. Maybe something that's slightly beefier to strike. Would have probably gotten the glide and stayed heading left. The catch cam was completely useless there. It's not great, but I think I have a forehand line. Barely. So I hit my catch cam. Bad. This is hilarious. Check this out. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's awkward. Stroke. Right, left, or right turnover. I think it's two e time. Or flex. It won't turn over much of this distance. A little anti. Get it up to the basket. Oh no! What's wrong with you, Robert? Grip lock for six. Down. Gosh, Robert. Can't, can't possibly give myself an easy look. For as much as I was bitching, it's still totally fine. these holes, I don't know if I'm going to have a birdie opportunity. So a big seven like that is probably puts me underwater for the entire rest of the round. So this one might be gettable. 327. This goes down one of these tunnels to the basket that people are walking in front of now. And really, mentally for me, this is the part of the round where I get start to get impatient. Make a couple of big, big scores and I want to get it back. And so I try to push harder than I should. And then uh, it's definitely, it's usually cost, usually cost me. So I'm gonna try and stay calm, stay mellow. I wanna hit this line with the GG3, get the flare to the left. I think it suits this, this shot if I, can, if I can get it with the right power. But uh, yeah, the goal is just not allow that blow up to you know, affect other holes. Clean throw here would go a long way. Uh, it's not clean at all. <sighs> it's too hazard. It needed to be flatter. It is really hard to stay mellow after something like that. Okay, so the plan is upshot, par, move on. And this is probably an A2. Big swinging. Maybe a machete if I'm not trusting the distance. 148. I think it's A2. Uh, I like it. Whew. I think that was close to the basket. Great line, great line. I think it was just short. Okay. Not an unreasonable look. So moving on. Positivity. Quit pushing that pin. No, never mind. This looks fun. Uh, it is 738 feet. And you got two roots. You got the left root. And you got the right root. Judging by the level of wear, I'd say the right root is more popular. I think I'm going to go the left. 
Maybe with the forehand? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I gotta place the uh, catch cam anyway. I'll get a better look of it from down there. I'm trying to throw the forehand. Because the left side is jailed. So this would be more likely to go right. So. Didn't stand up as much as I thought, but meh. It's down there. And that's a pretty good look. Just down a tunnel. Probably left for three, just something straight. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna take our time, kind of stick cleanly, throw it through smooth. Stop overthinking everything. A little left to right. I'm not sure if it'll affect the flight much. Trying to cut off, bite off some more distance. Kind of slipped a little. But It's about 234, but there's a headwind. I'd like to throw the wizard, but I don't trust the wind play. I'm gonna go with the claymore. Oh, I gotta throw it, Robert. What a mess. Okay, I needed about 240. Threw around 190. Well done. Fantastically played. Oh, probably not a bogey. This is uh, not in my wheelhouse typically. Look, straight line. That's a four or five or whatever. Two, three, yeah, five. Little circles. Probably circle two tassel, yeah. Red being circle one. They had uh, some big amateur event out here. Few months ago, if I recall. Okay. I'm beginning to think playing catch cam antics on Roy G was a terrible idea. Uh, next one's 351. Downhill though, might be gettable. Got the catch cam set up. Yeah, so I think it's downhill enough that it could be could be gettable. 350, but maybe plays like what 315. Kind of get the wind. Uh, it's a little right to left wind right now, so. Same thing, slow it down. I like that a lot. It might be inside. This one. Just needed to release it a little flatter. I think it came out ever so slightly hazard. Yeah, so not bad. This will be a bird flick. Yeah, I like that. Oh, on par? Hole nine is less gettable. Dog rip, dog rig, dog leg right. I'm trying to say the second word before I finish the first. Uh, and you can see it down there. The line looks to be around these trees here. It's probably gonna be a forehand. Probably gonna try and blast something. Maybe flip up like a shrike. That's a bold move, but it is downwind, so I don't think it'll turn over too badly. Really, the safe play would be throw it. Dead at these trees here. Have a reasonable upshot. Okay. Real question is duty three or strike? Duty three is the safer bet. Strike is like the higher risk, higher reward. I'll go duty three. Not bad. Oh, good roll after too. All right. Little look about. 62 feet. <laughs> Got this handy tassel. Under that ceiling. It's about right. Well, there you have it, the front nine at Roy G Park, and uh, plus six, kind of one bad hole in particular, but other than that, not, not terrible. Um, so far, maybe two holes have been in range. Uh, 
for my distance, I need to work on that. I keep telling myself. Probably have some videos eventually. But uh, yeah, fun. I like I like the layout. It's it's fair so far. Like it's not like um, it's not like they don't give you fairway or they don't give you whatever. Like it's and I hear that in the spring it gets way more uh, tenacious as far as the vegetation. Uh, tighter lines, not nearly as forgiving. Um, but right now, pretty nice. So. Uh, that'll end this first video, the front nine, and uh, we'll start on the the back nine here shortly. As always, thank you for watching, and hopefully I see you on the course.